Hey, Busy Bees. Today, we are back with another book. And the title of our book is We Will Rock Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. And this book was given to me by one of my students. So today, we are going to get to read it. So let's pop up with the book and fly through this adventure together. And then here, it seems like we have a bunch of little arts that are hanging up. Maybe that the character made. Okay. We will rock our classmates. For Paul, I would like to thank the kids who made the artwork for the end papers. Billy, Cece, Charlie, Cora, Eben, uh, Eliana, Ethan, Evelyn, Evie, Grant, Griffin, Jack, Jillian, Karen, Luna, Noah, Teddy, and Vivian. I also need to thank two grown-up kids, Joanna and Annie, who helped me make this book. All right. Penelope was the only T-Rex in her school. Sometimes that made her stand out a little. There she is. And sometimes Penelope's classmates didn't see her at all. They just saw a dinosaur. Want to play cops and dinosaurs? You can be the dinosaur. Well, I was hoping to play dentist. Great. We'll be the dentist. You'll be the dinosaur. Have you been flossing? William Mamato's backpack is stuck in your teeth. Dinosaur or not, Penelope loved to play. She loved to read. Good night. Tasty moose, all wrapped in bologna. Good night, tasty goose, with a side dish of pony. Mmm, ponies. And she loved to draw. Wait, I won't eat you. I don't even have any mustard. <laughs> but the one thing Penelope loved to do more than anything else was to make music. She loved to sing. She loved to play guitar. Penelope loved to rock and roll. So when Mrs. Noodleman told the class about the school talent show, Penelope was excited. She was also nervous. She wanted to rock her classmates, but could she do it? I think she can. Also, the sign-up sheet was right next to Walter, the ferocious goldfish. Penelope took a deep breath. She had to do it. She tiptoed past Walter. Then she quickly wrote her name with her bravest purple marker. There she is. Hold on. Look at Walter. He looks kind of scary, right? After school, Penelope shared the big news with her parents. And I'm going to wear a pink tutu and big boots and spike my scales and look angry, but I'll actually be really happy. And, oh, it's going to be so great. She hummed her favorite songs while brushing her teeth. She danced all the way to the bus. She even told her classmates about her favorite band, The Weevils. Best band ever. My dad used to go to all their concerts until he accidentally ate the drummer. <laughs> At last, it was time for the rehearsal. Can dinosaurs even play a guitar? On stage, Penelope froze. Oh no. She could not sing. She could not play guitar. She worried that dinosaurs could not rock and roll. Penelope was very quiet on the car ride home. She hardly ate anything for supper. Are you sure you don't want any more, Penny Pie? You only had 52 burgers. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of burgers. The next day at recess, Penelope sat alone on the bench. She would not play hopscotch. I am a T-Rex, not a hopscotcher. She would not play duck, duck, goose. I'm not a duck or another duck or a goose. I am a dinosaur. At the end of the day, Penelope crossed her name off the sign-up sheet with her saddest blue marker. Oh no. 
When Penelope got home, she went straight to her room. Daddy Rex came in to talk to her. Is everything okay? He asked. I can't be in the talent show, she cried. I am just a dinosaur. Ah, I see, said Daddy Rex. Come with me. Take a look at this family photo album. This is your Uncle Frank. He was a figure skater. Oh, and here's your mom finishing her first marathon. And here's me, the world hamburger eating champion. I ate 5,053 hamburgers with ketchup. There he is. You see, said Daddy Rex, being a T-Rex is only part of who you are. You, for instance, are kind and caring, creative and adventurous, and you can be anything you want to be. The next day at school, Penelope marched back over to the sign-up sheet. She looked straight at Walter and almost lost her nerve. But Penelope's classmates had a different idea. Can we play with you? In your band? Please, Penelope? And that gave her just enough courage. Look at that, what great classmates they were. On the night of the show, Penelope was really excited and also really nervous. She peeked out from backstage to try and find her parents. When the curtains opened, William Amato and his amazing animal sounds took the stage. Chirp, howl, roar, tweet, tweet, honk, blow, plop. Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony went second. Then there was the Stegman Brothers synchronized swimming mimes act followed by Martina Cortez and her dazzling card tricks. Your card was the Ten of Hearts. No, was it the Elephant of Spades? Finally, it was Penelope's turn. The lights on the stage were bright, but not as bright as Penelope. We are Penelope and the Mustard Seeds. Penelope was the T-Rex. She was also kind and caring and creative and adventurous. Most of all, Penelope Rex was a rock star. Penelope and the Mustard Seeds came in second place, just behind Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony. That was okay with Penelope. She loved ponies. Mmm, ponies. <laughs> And that is the end of our story for today. This was such a great story on not forgetting who you are and believing in yourself. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you'd like to follow along for more adventures, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one.